make these cleaning tools and the order of importance to you? Like, if you could only keep one of the tools, which one would you keep? Um, I would keep an apron. Okay. And what would you keep? Well, my girls, and I have a boy, too. Ah, um, very good. And he's one of my best cleaners. He's awesome. Uh, they love them. I was so surprised uh, after going to your seminar and hearing about them. It just totally made sense because we spend so much time, we had been spending so much time running back and forth to our totes. And, you know, most of our houses are pretty big, so we sometimes leave things downstairs. It just took a lot of time and energy just getting our stuff together. And when I got the aprons, I was excited, but I was really surprised how excited the cleaners were. I mean, they were all like, yeah, and putting them on right away. And I think it makes them feel more professional. Um, they love having everything right there um, so they're not running, and it saves time. Um, and I think it looks more professional to our clients as well. Uh, we've gotten comments like, oh, wow, look at you guys. So um, it's great. For us, it's great for the perception that we want to give our clients, and it's definitely saved us time. Um, and time is money, right, Sharon? That or the right tools at hand, and, you know, you waste time going back and forth and trying to find, let's say, the proper duster to high dust or um, handy in your apron, so, you know, and your bottles, you're, like, attached to your apron. So... In that sense, I think it just saves a lot of time going back and forth in finding supplies at the right time. Okay. So? Um, they enjoy it because everything is pretty much handy, and I think the apron was a little hard to get used to at first because they've never used it, but once they use it, now they can't live without it. So ah, really? Yeah, so it's become a very handy tool to have in terms of what, what they use on a daily basis. So tell me, what would you say to an owner who said, I, my girls won't wear aprons. I know I will never get them to be able to wear the aprons, much less use them, because I think we went through this in the beginning. You can force them to wear them, but there's a difference between wearing them and using them. What would you say to an owner who said, I'll never be able to get my people to use this. They will never like them. I don't see the advantage. I would say give them a time frame to try it out and then try and take it away and see if they give it up because once it's used they, and they utilize it the right way, they won't want to part with it.